Today I'm going to teach you how to properly store your cheese when you get it home from the store. The key thing to remember about cheese is that it's a living organism, it breathes, and therefore when storing cheese you really need to maintain the correct levels of temperature, oxygen and humidity to get the full benefit of the flavours and textures of the cheese without it drying out. Now when you get your cheese home from the store, it's often wrapped tightly in plastic like this to maintain its life. The key thing to remember is, once you've opened the cheese, don't wrap it back in this plastic or tightly in cling film, as this is the equivalent of flavour suffocation. The correct way to store your cheese is as follows. Wrap it loosely in a wax or greaseproof paper. Unlike plastic, this allows in sufficient air to allow the cheese to keep breathing. Write the date and the name of the cheese on the packet so you don't forget what it is. And then if you are worried about the cheese drying out, you can wrap it loosely in cling film, foil, or in an unsealed food storage bag, as this will allow in sufficient air to let the cheese keep breathing without it drying out. In terms of where to store your cheese in the fridge, it's best stored in the most humid part, the vegetable drawer. Or alternatively, why not use a large Tupperware dish as your cheese home, remembering to wrap your cheeses separately so that bacteria doesn't jump between them. Provided you store your cheeses like this, they should last between one to two weeks, and much longer in the case of hard cheeses, such as Parmesan. Some cheeses, such as Blue Stilton, which is an unpressed cheese, are capable of being frozen. Simply wrap the cheese loosely in foil and freeze for up to three months, defrosting in the fridge overnight. It's also important to remember that any green or white mould spots on the cheese is perfectly normal, and it doesn't mean you have to throw the cheese out. Cut the mould spot off the cheese, and the rest of it is good to go. And most importantly, don't forget about your cheeses. Although I've shown you how to store them properly, they really are best enjoyed when fresh. So only ever buy enough for one to two servings. Thanks for watching.